Yeah, so we um, like the interaction of the development of burnout with taking into account on the one hand personality, because that is like research show that certain personality traits relate to uh, the, the possibility to develop burnout. And we also uh, included uh, certain job demands and certain job resources, as that is also evidenced by research that um, these two, these job demands, certain job demands and resources can also impact the possibility to develop burnout. So what we um, mainly focused on is the personality trait of neuroticism, because neuroticism is the personality trait that um, reflects actually emotional instability uh, and negative uh, view on life. And that uh, is evidenced by research that the neuroticism uh, characteristics is the most, uh, is the characteristic that is most related to burnout. Um, and maybe to to explain that burnout is actually, um, yeah, you can divide it in three dimensions. So you have emotional exhaustion, depersonalization, and reduced uh, personal accomplishment. So exhaustion means uh, a lack of energy or fatigue. Uh, depersonalization has to do with disconnection of the job. Um, and personal accomplishment, like reduced personal accomplishments, means that people are um, not so sure anymore about their competence, about their efficiency. And together, it um, reflects a burnout. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, so at the base of the model, we have the perception. And um, that influences the way that we uh, perceive as an individual the demands and the um, resources. Uh, we also have um, something called an external state, uh, which is um, any uh, type of factor that that can um, twitch uh, the the way that we perceive the world. Um, and um, apart from the three states of the burnout, we have added um, something called uh, therapy because we want to analyze the way that uh, therapy could. Um, affect um, the, the different uh, personality traits um, and uh, the way that they um, um, affect the, the possibility of developing burnout. Uh, then we have uh, created two uh, weight vectors and uh, threshold vectors for, um, for the five personality traits and for the burnout state. Um, and uh, we have uh, modeled these five personality uh, traits in in yeah a, a given context so um, the yellow lines uh, that they're, they're difficult to see but the yellow lines focus on our uh, main scenario which was um, uh, how does a person with a high risk of neuroticism react to um therapy um and um yeah what are the odds of, of developing the burnout uh, given this uh this thing? Yep. so here we like seem like we uh have a model that is a little bit more easier to understand so this simulates actually the first scenario so what you we see here is that we focus on neuroticism as main three. So a person who is uh, high in neuroticism and how this person responds to uh, the job demands that you see in the blue uh, lines there, like in the, they're under in the model. So the workload, job uh, insecurity, conflict, and the resources, autonomy, and social support. Um, and then what we, what Diana said, that we have this external state. So that is something that can change um, in the reality. So we um, thought about, like, for instance, you, a person with high neuroticism gets a new team leader. Um, and therefore, like his, uh, the perception of autonomy of this person goes, uh, goes lower and the autonomy then 
um, negatively influ influences this depersonalization. So uh, a person, because of the new leader, a person becomes has a perception of lower autonomy, which increases the uh, depersonalization state of this person. And because the person has uh, is highly neurotic, the depersonalization was already the threshold was already. Uh, low so it is has already a higher chance of being depersonalized and because of this lower autonomy it becomes even more uh, risk and the depersonalization is in turn affected affects the in, uh, interpersonal conflict so because of this new leader eventually there um, develops more conflict between the leader and the and the person and research also shows that interpersonal conflict as a job demand inflect in influences also uh, the neuroticism. So the person, the more interpersonal conflict, the more neurotic a person becomes. So actually, it all the whole model strengthens each other. Yeah. So, so as um, as mentioned before, yeah, the, these are the mechanics. Like the neuroticism, the threshold for neuroticism is set high. And at first, we looked at it um, in the context of it, of it not changing, at, meaning that it has a speed zero. But um, of course, uh, this is something that can change without with the time, and that's why it is an, at a, it has a level of adaptability. Um, and um, we have affected the values for the external states. Um, in this case, they were quite high. Um, and we could see that um, there was um, um, an increase in the perception for um, like uh, autonomy. And um, yeah, the, the, the threshold for uh, neuroticism is also affected. Um, and that has uh, obviously a downstream effect on uh, on the depersonalization, uh, which is in turn affecting the personal accomplishment directly. Uh, we have also uh, created some graphs, but um, our model is still um, in development. In development. <laughs> <laughs> so um, um, yeah, we're we're not. Um, 100% uh, ready with it, but uh, this is just a snippet of um, of the way um, the um, these uh, thresholds uh, behave. What we could see was um, that, of course, the higher the level of neuroticism was, the um, bigger chances were uh, did the person have uh, to to develop a burnout. Yeah, because I think if you let me see this. Like this line that you see here, that reflects the neuroticism. So we set that uh, as a high initial value, and then, oh, oops, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, these lines. This is the personal accomplishment, and because neuroticism is high, um, and these ones is the job. Uh, it's are the job demands, and these ones are the job resources. The perception of demands becomes higher, so then the personal accomplishment uh, goes lower because that is like personal accomplishment is a positive thing. So then in neuroticism you don't you don't have that, so that is lower. And the exhaustion is the blue line, and the depersonalization is the red line. And these go higher because of these perceptions. And because of the negative perceptions of the rewards. And um, we designed a, another scenario where we would like to introduce uh, therapy and uh, analyze the, the way um, a person can behave, and given it, uh, it's um, um, given the fact the, the fact that neuroticism uh, can be lowered uh, by the fact that it, it is adaptable. Um, and uh, we are still working on uh, creating the graphs. Yep. So um, 
but it, what yeah the, the mechanics of that is that we introduce uh, the therapy which is affecting the weight through the perception um, of uh, demands and rewards and um, the, as we can see in the model the perception this perception is directly affecting the thresholds for neuroticism uh, which have a downstream effect on the thresholds for burnout so this is the way that they work and uh, we will be analyzing um, the graphs so, yeah that was so yeah in conclusion uh, we think that uh, it would be interesting to to see how uh, the the way um, uh, personality traits uh, the way the day changer over time uh, could affect uh, the possibility of someone uh, developing the burnout um, at work. Yep. And uh, how does therapy uh, help in this um, endeavor?